Hi everyone, this video will help you how to cut and assemble your gift you have received. First, when you open your package, you will see a cutting guide. Before I start explaining how to read my cutting guide, what I would love you to do is cut the zip strip first, so we won't forget. Zip strip is the half inch accent paper along the top of each sheet of pattern paper. You should have two pattern paper, so let's cut those out, but please save it because we will need it in the future. When you look at your cutting guide, you will see four blocks and each block represents a 12 by 12 paper, either a pattern paper or a cardstock. Let's look at the first block. So under the first block it says pattern paper number one, also says blue dots directions. It will show you you need to do those directions in horizontal. Please make sure you turn your paper in the right direction before you start cutting. Our first cut is 3.5 by 11. Me personally, I like to put a check mark on the paper so I know what I already cut just in case if I got interrupted. P2 means page 2 so this piece will gonna go to page 2. I like to create two piles, one for page 1 and one for page 2. This way I save time and I don't have to look what piece goes to what page. Now let's move on to the next cut. We are going to measure three and a half and cut and then turn the paper and measure 10 inch and cut. That little piece is a leftover, please save it. Make a pile for all your leftover papers. Now I am going to put a check mark on my paper and that piece will go to the left side because that is page 1. Page 1 is my left and page 2 is on my right. And let's move on to the next cut. Go ahead and measure 3 inch and cut. Now because this piece is 3 inch by 12, that will go to the right side because that is page 2. And the other piece what we have left over that should be 2 inch by 12. We are going to move to the second block which is represent your pattern paper number 2. Direction don't matter here but because I already have it this way I will just leave it like that please measure seven inch and cut and turn your paper and measure 11 inch and cut those are leftover papers so please collect all your leftover paper and put it on the side And of course, this piece will be page one, so it will go to my page one pile. Our next cut is the craft cardstock. All these cuts you see here is for your picture mat. If you don't know what size of pictures you will use, I suggest not to cut this yet. But because of this video purposes, I am going to cut mine.
please measure 4 inch and cut all the way down again and turn your paper and measure 6 inch and cut you will have two 4 by 6 pieces and that will goes to page 1 again measure 4 inch and cut all the way down turn your paper measure 6 inch and cut and that will go to your right side because that is page 2 at this point your leftover paper should measure 4 inch by 12 so turn your paper measure 3 inch and cut and then do that again measure 3 inch and cut and those two should go to page 2 now you did have a leftover paper which was measured 4 by 6 so just put it on the side and we are all set for cutting my next video i am going to show you how to assemble your title